leather Gorka suit. This is from Russian cold camo as well. This is the Gorka P outfit. And uh, I also think that, uh, I think it's also called the, the Gorka R. So if you're looking online and things like that, trying to find out about them, the Gorka P and the Gorka R, I think are the same thing. I think because in, it, it isn't a P and the R, aren't they like in the Russian alphabet, like one, the R looks like a P, the P looks like an R, something like that. But anyway, this is called the, the Gorka P. But it does look like the Gorka R. I think they're the same. Anyway, this is a very cool, wow. Very, this is a very cool outfit, a uh, very cool suit. And, you know, Gorka suits, you know, Gorka means mountain. It's a mountain suit. It's made for being in the mountains and things like that. Uh, this one, much like the uh, Gorka, the Gorka 4 I've done a review on, the Gorka 4 is an anorak. They have different types. You know, there's an anorak type, and then there's the uh, the jacket type like this is. This is buttoned, and open it up. Boy, something's going crazy over there, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean, it just opens up. It's got like a little storm flap right here, a little wind flap, basically. So that's very cool. And you can see that this one's got, it's a two, it's a two color pattern. It's a, kind of a khaki and an OD green. I looked through the camera screen, this kind of looks more gray in the camera, but it actually is an OD green. So, and so is this. So, I mean, this probably looks a little gray too. But uh, reinforcements, extra material on the arms and elbows. And it's got a uh, elastic cuff right here, a little bit of elastic right here around the wrist, and a button pocket right here. Mosquitoes are like crazy out here. So, yep, button pocket right there. And it's like that on both sides, and it's got two lower jacket pockets right here. Got a little edging on the bottom right here as well. And this has a hood right here. So, and it buttons all the way up and it's got these right here to tighten that hood, cinch it down around your head and things like that. So let's put it on. All right, I'm gonna show these pants a little bit here. Um, same kind of deal, you know, khaki, OD green. It's got nice big pockets here on the side. Buttoned. It's a button flap right here as well. And it's got this tie down. Pull it tight for your pants. Big belt loops if you want to wear a belt. It also has Two strap, two loops right here for your uh, suspenders. This pair didn't actually come with a pair of suspenders. Um, some do, some don't, but I'm gonna get a pair of suspenders for them. I like them. Um, it, they fit all right, but I want to. I, I do want suspenders with these. These are very cool. It's got pockets right here on the sides. There is no back pocket, but you can see it's kind of reinforced as well. Gonna aim this down here. The foot, the leg. It's all reinforced down here. It has got a some uh, elastic a little bit right down here to tighten it around your boot. All right, this is something I really want to focus on right here. Also, this is very cool. These pants have a built-in layer right here, sewn in, that tucks into your boot. I'm taking the boot off. I'll show you better.
Don't mind my dirty sock. <laughs> All right. Got to pull that up a little bit, trying to show you. I have this layer right here, sewn in. And you can tie it around. It's got this uh, little elastic right here to go underneath your boot. I don't even feel it. I don't even feel it on my shoe, you know. I like me. I don't like stuff in my boots. I don't like a rock or a piece of piece of uh, tree, you know, bark or something in my boot. I don't like it. I can't feel this, so it doesn't bother me at all. I actually can't even feel this. It's very thin. It's kind of a thin. It's not very like very thick, so it's you know wraps around, keeps it keeps it tied down. This is awesome. It's in your boot, kind of like tucking your pants in, but it's another layer since it's sewn. There's no gap through here. Us, and like many of you, we have a lot of ticks out in the fields in the summertime and stuff like that. This is awesome to keep them from crawling up your pants. Anything else from crawling up your pants. Even a little extra protection from some water. Things like that. So yeah, very cool. And uh, not all Gorka suits have these. Uh, they believe the Gorka 3s this is a Gorka P and a Gorka R and the Gorka, I think it's the, the S. I, I'm not sure. There's several of them that do have this. Some There's several of them that don't. The Gorka 4 that I have doesn't have this. I wish it did. And I, I wish this was a standard all the way around. Now, a lot of Gorka suits do have this. But, you know, like I said, you just pull that, pull that, you know, put that on. And it doesn't bunch up. You know, you got it in your boot. I don't have my boot on now, but you basically just do that. And that is a very cool feature that, that is with this suit. Yeah, awesome. Definitely a lot of protection there from bugs and other things not wanting, you not wanting to get into your, uh, your, uh, your clothing and stuff like that. So that's very cool. Right on this jacket also. Like I said, it's a buttons all the way up. Has the little uh, storm flap, wind flap kind of thing that goes underneath there. But I was also going to point out, it does have a pocket inside here. And it has a button where you can just button it right here. Just one single button. So it's just got a little pocket on it. A um, little bit of elastic back here to kind of tighten it around you. You know, kind of hold it down. And it has, one thing I was noticing too, very cool. It has two buttons here. It has a button here on the bottom. These two buttons where you button it, but it also has a button. So you can double button it inside, on the inside and the back, so. All right, very there cool. it is. Very cool. This is, a, I like this. This is very cool. I like the colors too. I like the two colors. The, the uh, OD and the khaki together really looks good very comfortable this is a the uh, Gorka P summer suit they call it so it's a little bit lighter weight not much um, but it's being a mountain suit you know for summer I'm in Oklahoma our summers until this week <laughs> so far have been like in the heat indexes is over a hundred so that would still be very hot for this. So in the summertime, mountain suit in the mountains, that'd still be nice and cool generally. So this is really made for spring, winter, and fall, and things like that. So I mean you can wear it if you're if you if the heat doesn't bother you, you can wear it when it's hundred degrees out. It's gonna be hot. It's hundred percent cotton. So you know, if it gets wet. It's, you know, the, the water, it's, it's treated with a water repellent, something, you know, with a, 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 a water repellent, you know, uh, something you know, that they've used. And so it, it beads off, but it still will get soaked if it's like a drenching downpour. But however, you know, with cotton canvas, because this is the same kind of stuff that you know, their uh, plash palacas are made out of. So, 
it's a it's a it's a good canvas so be in canvas if it gets wet it's really going to tighten those fibers expand those fibers and it's going to even be more water repellent actually you probably would want to like hose it down or set it out in a rainstorm first and let it get wet and then dry naturally and uh, it'll even be more water resistant and waterproof than it is like it is now uh, but yeah i mean these are cool you know they're a little oversized you want them kind of like that to break up your pattern but also to wear layers underneath you know so if you are out in the winter time this would be perfect in winter time you put a fleece or a jacket underneath it um, you can even wear like your uh, your uh, waterproof clothing underneath so that way you wouldn't get wet but that's kind of what they are you know I mean they're to be a little oversized they're very comfortable this thing like I said has a hood it's got a little visor on it and you can button this all the way up right here tighten that down really shape it to your head you know so very it's very cool you know and this thing comes out you know and I got a boonie on so it comes out and it comes out further than that so I like the Gorka suits I do and I like this one I like the Gorka 4 that I got this one is from SSO Spasm so this is a uh, another official you know, uh, there's a lot of Gorkas. You start going out there looking at Gorka suits online and Russian companies and things like that, just looking at them. There's a bunch of them and there's a bunch of different manufacturers, but from everything that I've read and seen so far, bars and the SSO stuff is the, like the pretty much the official stuff that the Russian military and Spetsnaz troops and things like that use. So the other ones, they may be like knockoffs and stuff. Not saying that they're not bad quality. I don't know. Um, I don't know anything about them. But uh, and they, they may be good, so I don't know. But I mean, I just know that these are the official ones that their military troops use whenever they use them and things like that. So this is, yeah, you want to go something, you want to go something that's like official you know things like that so the other stuff may be good too I don't know and so I mean I have no idea but I'm just rattling on here this is an awesome suit and the thing about Gorka suits is is if you're looking at these you know I, I'm really liking the Russian gear here lately if you can't tell you know I mean Russian cool camo has been good to me they've sent me a few things several things and I like it all and I mean all the quality of it is on par with our American stuff and you know on par with the British stuff well, it's military so it's got to be built good you know it's got to be built to be in in extreme environments one or the other you know cold hot wartime maneuvers whatever you're doing so these suits and anything that's kind of military in general for whatever we do out in the woods and things like that and survival and preparedness and things is gonna is gonna work for us good you know so so you know when i talk about these gorks i really like them i really like them and if you're like looking at these and if you're toying with the idea you know of getting one things like that i highly recommend it i do and it sounds like i may be selling you but i am trying to sell you because i these are awesome and if you're out in the woods or in the mountains or the hills whatever you're doing outdoors you want something that's going to be really well built really solid and something that's going to be bomb proof then one of these is going to do you right you know they come in multiple styles multiple colors like i said sso and bars are the two that i would really recommend going for and russian cold camo does have those i mean you can get them on ebay and you can get them you know shipped from other russian companies wherever you want to do some have camouflage some don't some are like this and um, there's just many different styles but I would personally recommend sticking with those companies, you know, unless you know anything different than I do. I don't know. Like I said, those other companies may be good, you know, and it may just it may just work just fine. So I, I don't know. You may you do your own research, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so, and uh, but if you're out in the woods and you're out in the environment a lot, doing things like that, and you want something 
that's going to be good and like i said this goes over your clothing so you can take this off you can put it on you can put layers under it but this is a good solid suit you know to have out in the environment it's going to help get you by it's going to keep you clothed it's going to keep you warm it's going to keep you protected from the, any of the elements and it's a solid material well built stuff so anyway this is the gorka piece my review overview um it's been raining a lot here like all the last several days i mean like torrential flooding rains and uh all this week it's supposed to rain sometime soon i will try to get out and i will get out to the property and we'll be testing this some of this stuff out i might wait till it's in the fall when i can actually feel comfortable wearing it and not get overheated and things like that because like i said you know this stuff is built for mountain maneuvers and, and cooler temperatures even though it says summer suit summer in the mountains still wet and cold you know compared to down here in the mid plains where it's a tropical balmy 105 humid temperatures you know so anyway the gorka p and this came from russian cold camo very cool company very cool stuff so i highly recommend it check them out check these out go online look at the other reviews of this suit there's many others on there too as well go check them out see what you think if you like them i really do recommend if you're out in the woods and environment and stuff like that this will serve you well and it blends in as well, you know, and you can get multiple different types of patterns for your type of environment that will work if you're wanting to blend in a little better, be a little more covert, things like that. So anyway, keep it heavy.